Okay, I'm going to try something with the four aces which I set up on top of the deck before we began. So what I'm going to try and show you is a concept which is difficult to accept and strange as well. We'll leave the aces down here for a second. Now if I had to ask you now what you've seen so far, is it fair? You'd hopefully say yes, I mean you've seen a deck of cards both front and hopefully back now. And um, you accept this, there's nothing that seems suspicious. We've also got the aces down here. Now if we were to take one of the aces, the ace of hearts for example, and leave this face down on an otherwise face up deck, this helps your eyes to follow. It differentiates between face up and face down. Now what I'm going to try and do here is get your eyes to reject what they see if you like. So we'll use the remaining three aces and hopefully one by one these are going to help us demonstrate this. Watch us with a rub here, one of them disappears. Now your eye doesn't want to accept this, it's just seeing something that it can't explain. Watch again as we use the last two aces. This is going to happen as it lands on the table, like this, leaving us with just one. And the last one, something like this, with just a squeeze, that leaves us. Now again, your eyes don't want to accept this, as what they've just seen is uh, highly illogical and very confusing. So what I'm going to try and do to write this is actually explain how I did it. Now the deck was one thing your eyes were able to keep their eye on the whole time. They knew where it was, they knew what was happening with it. Yet what they probably didn't manage to follow is the fact that now on the deck there are four face down cards on an otherwise face up deck and they are the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds, the ace of clubs and the ace of hearts. Thanks for watching.